What's up guys? I'm Lee Williamson and today I'm going to cover over a couple of tips that I learned while redesigning my website on Squarespace. Unfortunately, like a classic bloke, I didn't look at the user manuals. I made a lot of mistakes that I could have prevented and could have done the site a lot quicker. So I'll go over those quick tips so that you don't have to make the same mistakes. So without further ado, let's dig in. Right, so this is my new website I created on Squarespace. And I came across a couple of different things I didn't know. Um, hopefully I can make your life a lot easier once you find this tutorial. Uh, first step I want to share is the escape button. Uh, when you are logged into Squarespace, if you just go to your actual website, you can just press escape and it goes straight into your editing mode. That's the first quick awesome tip. The next one is going into your style sheets. So if you go into design and you go into your site styles. Now the mistake I made is whenever I wanted to edit my page, I had to go through reams and reams of styles to try and figure out, oh, okay, you know, this is the mobile bar and the change of colors here and your change of text here. When I could have just been doing this, so, um, I'll give an example. So if I go out of this, go back one step and I go to my contact page. And then what you do is you click straight onto your styles and then you click on the part that you want to edit. So for example, if I want to click this field or let's say this button, this button has uh, one color and it's got a solid fill and a shape and a, a font. Um, that is how you would be able to edit just that button without having to go through all of it uh, painfully like I did. I mean, I practically completed designing my website before I realized I could even do this. And if you want to go back to it, you just go show all. So if I go back to that button, I'm going to show you the next tip that I found out. It's with changing colors. Now this one was another thing I did painfully. Um, in Squarespace, they use HSL, um, U saturation lightness. Now for us designers, we want a hex code. Um, and I didn't know how to stick a hex code in here. So I ended up going online looking for calculators and calculating it when actually the solution was. So for example, if I uh, color drop this logo at the top here, and I get my hex code. And I try pasting it inside here. Yeah, it's not going to work because, well, that's uh, HSL code. Even if I type it in, press enter, nothing. So what all you had to do was add in a hashtag. Can you believe it? Oh, and now, boom, you've got the color you needed. Um, that simple. All right, so the next tip I wanted to share is about images. So if I go out of here and go to design, or oh, wait, not design, go to pages. And I go down to non-linked. Let me just create a new page. I'm going to blank. I'll just call this delete this. I created a blank page. And I'm going to go edit. I'm going to file image. And I create an image. And I can upload an image of myself. Boom and click apply. And if I wanted to create another image, I can upload another image. But if I wanted to upload, uh, use this image of myself again, say on another page, I could just go into say the um, search image, go to imported and find myself over here and upload that picture again. And then what I can do if I want to I have the images side by side smaller, almost as if there was gutters in, in between it, like an editorial. What I could do is I just roll it over the middle of the image and it should appear with a, a black line on the right hand side. So on the middle, not the right hand side. And you'll get two images. And then what I could do is I could say file image again. Let's just leave this blank this time around. And um, I'm going to drag this over the uh, middle right hand side of that image and it 
take another image. Tell you what, let me just, for the sake, let me just delete all these images. Your file, image, apply, file, new image, apply. I've created two ones, file, image, apply. So I've created three blank ones. I could take this one, roll it over to, uh, middle right over that one, roll that another one over middle right of the right hand picture, and you get three like that. And now the cool thing you've noticed is when you scroll down, you'll have two little um, uh, pin drops, I would suppose you call them, rather than one. And if you put in three images, you'll notice now you'll get a thin black line directly underneath it, which means that if you decide to roll over this rather than that and create another image, that image will be exactly the same size as the one you created there. But say for example, you wanted to take that image and work it over there and have a four, uh, four images on there and then say, uh, new image here again, that image would be the size, once again, of all four at the top. And so now you wanted to create another image over here, you could click on the other button and that image would be the full size of the page if you wanted that size. Now, the other cool uh, one to show you is something called a spacer. Now, space is kind of, I don't know if, you, if, if, if you've ever worked with um, editorials or um, page layout design, but it's kind of like a gutter. So, you know, you can drag it in between um, your design and when you roll over it, you get a little arrow that points left and right and you can scale it to whichever size you want. But it's obviously defined, the space is only defined by the two images on the right and left hand side. So you'd probably have to delete one of these images to make that spacer even bigger. And you know, you can just go around dropping spaces between here and here. And the only reason you'd put in spaces is so now you wanted, so if you wanted these images smaller and that image large, or they, they work as really nicely as dividers. And then you also get something called a line, which works like a spacer, except lines don't work um, vertically. So I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Bye.